It is November 22nd, 2016, and this is Hack Happy's weekly vulnerability report. And this week we have 14 vulnerabilities from nine vendors. Number nine, VMware. VMware Workstation Infusion drag and drop memory access error lets local users on a guest system gain privileges on the host system. VMware vRealize Operations REST API deserialization flaw lets remote users deny service. Number 8. Cisco Cisco Unified Communications Manager input validation flaw in CCMIVR page lets remote users conduct cross-site scripting attacks. Cisco IOS XE flaw in package unbundle utility lets local users modify files on the target system. Cisco Email Security Appliance MIME Header Error Handling Flaw lets remote users bypass security restrictions on the target system. Cisco ASA Input Validation Flaw lets remote users execute arbitrary XML commands on the target system. Cisco ASR 5000 and 5500 series routers lets remote users cause the target service to crash. Number 7. HPE Helion uh, HPE Helion OpenStack Glance Image Service lets remote authenticated users deny service. Mozilla Firefox um, has multiple bugs that lets remote users execute arbitrary code, bypass security restrictions, spoof URLs, modify files, and obtain potentially sensitive information. Tenable. Uh, Tenable Nessus input validation flaw lets remote authenticated users conduct cross-site scripting attacks. Splunk. Splunk Web HTTP injection flaw lets remote users obtain API authentication tokens on the target system. Number 3. Linux. Linux kernel crashes in TCP collapse lets remote users cause denial of service conditions on the target system. Number 2. Wireshark. Uh, Wireshark bug in Profinet IO, all join and OpenFlow DCERPC and DTN D- dissectors lets remote users deny service. Semantic Ghost Suite DLL loading error lets local users gain elevated privileges. Well, that's going to do it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to get notifications of my new videos, and I will see you guys on the other side.